Hello my beautiful angels welcome back to our channel be you be beautiful i hope you all are doing good safe and sound so now uh, you know long story short when i got married i was so much confused that how i need to dress up in front of my relatives friends family because you know how a new bride has to be nicely dressed up and all so i was absolutely clueless guys so this video is dedicated to most of the new bride who doesn't know how to dress up as a bride new bride okay so you'll be surprised i'm using a nivea after shave balm why because this is a primer this is something which i too was surprised but after using it you believe me this acts as a super primer so i've just cover the base eyelid uh, of my eyes and i'll be starting with the eye makeup first because that's where all the drama is in today's makeup and i have used the concealer to conceal it and with the help of the brush i'll be just blending it all around the eyelid guys believe me that this primer is a game changer and i have applied the powder as well i think because of some error in the this thing uh, this video got deleted but I, i'll be mentioning all the details in the description what all products i have used to create this look now to create a nice smooth border for my eyes i'll be covering the eyelid with a scotch tape as shown here after this uh, i will come my huda new palette this is a rose gold palette in this i'll be using the shade this one and i'll be trying to develop the crease now if you don't know what is crease this is the area where i'm trying to blend this is the fold of uh, when you open your eye where your eyelid folds that is the area which we call as crease take a very little amount of it and then try to blend it towards the inside area of your eyes when you use this kind of tape it becomes very easy that the color doesn't go out of the outer v of your eyes I hope I'm uh, clear. You have to take little by little because all of sudden if you try to do it you will you might end up cakey. So take a little amount and with the help of a fluffy brush I'm just blending out the harsh line Now I'm taking a darker shade it doesn't matter you have this palette or not you can just use any or any of the palettes which you have with you and uh, you can also use any shade any color which whichever but the process or the procedure is this I'm taking a darker black shade and trying to Uh, draw near the eyeliner area close to the eyelid and uh, i've kept it zoom for you so that you can actually see try to make a v because i eyes already has a v shape at the end so i'm just trying to blend out the black color as you can see the this uh, tape doesn't allow the color to come out of that area so it creates a nice super design you know this makeup is something which you know makes me happy so <laughs> so yeah even i'm learning so i just hope that i can definitely impart something out of my information and please let me know if you have any ideas or some tips for me to to finishing the second eye off camera i have also applied eyeliner and uh, the eyebrows 
now i'm trying to cover up the dark circle which i have and also made some dot dot with the help of foundation i'll be blending it all together you can do this technique you know it's very easy and uh, it saves lot of your time rather than applying foundation first and then trying to conceal it just cover the areas which you feel which has dark patches or uh, you know a kind of a pigmentation to your skin conceal it with the pig, uh, concealer now this is something a sponge which i was using it for the first time i wasn't that satisfied believe me so i used uh, this makeup setting spray sorry uh, so maybe next time i'll try to damp it because that might give me a good coverage blend it all together and now once this procedure is done once you put on your foundation and your concealer your skin looks flat and you know pale kind of so just to avoid that we contour our face with a shade which is two times darker to the foundation and uh, you know what i'll be using the translucent powder here in case if you are using a contour stick or a liquid contour make sure you use it before this translucent powder and then set it with the translucent powder but i i will be using the powder contour so i'll be doing it later as you can see i'll be applying it on the cheeks just to create a definition and a sculpt to my face and on the forehead and uh, now here i'm applying some blush to the highest point of the cheek and pulling it on towards the temple just to create a lifted look and uh, i would like also to use the same brush and apply it on my nose just to give that fresh look to my skin i'm sorry i forgot to mention that i have uh, put some highlighter in the inner corners of my eye and also the eyebrow bone so that it just pops out comes the liquid highlighter which i'll be using it on the higher point of my cheek and uh, some on the temple the cupid's bow and the nose of course i won't be going anything fancy with the help of your fingers because your finger itself is warm it nicely blends out the makeup so just blend your highlighter with your finger and uh, it gives you extremely a uh, fresh dewy look to your skin Once it is done, as you can see, I've applied some kajal pencil to the lower what you say waterline, and uh, voila, that's all. I am not using any falsies here because I think that will be too much. So I've just uh, used mascara to my eyes and finishing up with a uh, lipstick. If you want, you can go for a nude shade also, but I prefer to use a bold one because after all, this is. for a new bride so let's look vibrant and all bright so that's all for today i hope you like this look and in case if you want to recreate it please do it and tag me on my insta handles and uh, i'll be soon with something new for you guys if you like this video please don't forget to hit on the like button down there and uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more further videos please click on the bell icon thank you so much for your time and patience thanks for watching be you be beautiful and keep on rocking my angels take care and i love you all